Hello, Knights, and welcome back to Follow New Vegas. Let's play. I am Sign H2O. With me, as sometimes, is Cass. And we are in the super fancy Ultra Lux. And we're dressed like the NCR because, if you remember last video, we got to do a ton of shit out on the strip when I was wearing my Legion stuff. And not that we couldn't handle it, but it kind of fucked up everything I wanted to do in here. Have you so. seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. I've been inside. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. Okay. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? I have not. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Well, gall darned it. Uh, you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. I see. He see. was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. No, that's a good idea. Of course, idea. if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. <laughs> but that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. I like this guy. Let me help find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. I have two good eyes, plus my friend has two good eyes. You can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Well, all right, then. Uh, we'll ask him this, because it's well placed up. What business did you have here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's why we'll be helping them. I'll because be the Legion, as everyone knows, an army runs on its stomach. Right, Cass? She knows. And so if we can get more food, I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their then we can, uh, we can have a bigger army. So that means we need the White Gloves on our side, and we need Mr. Heck Gunderson on our side. And there's a way to do both. <laughs> You'll find out why that might be hard other times. But we'll, uh, we'll come to that when we get to it. Hello, Mortimer, if that is your real okay. name. How may I be of service, sir? Well, actually, <laughs> I'll just come right out with it then. I've heard your group dines on human flesh. Ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. I see, I see. I, too, know what it is to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of... Nutrition. nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. I can. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. <laughs> oh, I think I know who that is. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, so you can be a cannibal to accuse him of being a cannibal? Or to get him to admit he's a cannibal and then attack him for being a cannibal? <laughs> okay. The main course is a person? Yes. The wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. Okay. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal. Corn-fed and well-to-do. But no one to miss him if he were to disappear. I see. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed. And as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. What did you do? I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Well, that was stupid. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. I see. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people, but I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. I could probably do that. Tell me what I need to do. I need a replacement. 
and I need the boy taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. can't very well make steak from gristle. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. He lives in a shack north of here. For freshness, we For need freshness. him alive. If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his house, we can do the rest. Okay, okay. Um, wouldn't putting St. Clair's body into the dumpster give it a terrible taste? Not this one. Empty. I don't believe it's seen use since before the war. And what would the point be, really? Who would pick up his trash if he used it? But for our purposes, point. it should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can recover it. Okay. What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. See what I but can do. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need the replacement. But you would need to deal with his father, heck. Perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room, you could frame him. Oh boy. Couldn't heck just... <laughs> here we go, this is what I was looking for. So, uh, would my companion here make a suitable replacement meal? From the smell of her, I'd say we can skip the whiskey marinade. But other than her liver, she seems to be in working order. <laughs> he knows it pretty well. Very well. If you're able to convince young Mr. Gunderson to return to his father, replace him in the freezer with your friend and we'll have a deal. I'll do it. Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. Okay, well. Well, uh, see you in a little bit there, Mortimer. Indeed. Oh, hey, no, we, you didn't even come up. I don't know what... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, nope, not that way. I've heard that elite units are on the way. Well, I don't think we have that key, do we? That's not where we're going anyway. There is a way. I gotta find the. Uh... Oh wait, you know what? I wonder if the quest turned on. Um, here, this is the one we want. Okay, it's this way. It looks like. We gotta get to the restaurant, then to the kitchen. Ah, the gourmand. Fine dining. And other stuff. I think I might talk to Marjorie, too. She's usually at the front. Yeah, right there. Hello there! How do you do? I do pretty well. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Well, thank you. Oh, good. The great Kaisar wishes to extend your society an offer of alliance with the Legion, or his Legion. Tell your ruler we have no interest in such ties. Caesar's Legion is a collection of unclean barbarians. Oh, now. Any time the White Glove Society is mentioned in the same breath, it sullies our good name. Oh, do I have to kill her? As much as Mortimer and some of the other members have tried to convince me otherwise, I will not have us seen as savages. So she seems to be the problem. Um. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Yeah, I might have to murder her. I might be murder a clock later, Marjorie. Just hang tight. All right. I think we can just go back here. There's a problem. House is dead. This time for good. Excuse me, uh, I'm the health inspector. Just got to see if you guys got everything in order. Also, there's something down here we got to grab. It'll help us out. I can't remember exactly. Although, these guys are also, I mean, these guys are pretty cool. I do enjoy how they cook their meat. I love that gas flavor in my... Infected. Maybe I shouldn't take that. 
What's going on with this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, meat detected. Anyway. Um, he's down here somewhere. You. You. What do you think you're doing? Order wants to release the kid. We'll cooperate. I'm a negotiator. Or trespassing. <laughs> he's attacking. Hmm. Yes. He was none too pleased when he discovered who we took. The boy is in the freezer, back through the kitchen. Okay, thanks, Wall. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, can't get in there. Oh, you know, we didn't even look in here. We were interrupted by that guy. Oh, nothing good. All right. This is a bunch of wine and stuff. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to steal anything from these guys. I do need to look around for just blueprints in here. Or something. I don't know why I opened that. I'm not going to steal from them. Why would I bother? I think it might be in here. Dog meat? Gross. There we go. Oh, you got to steal it? I didn't know that. Bad guys won't see us coming. So, it's Brahmin Wellington recipe. Now, we know how to make it. Uh, let's just look at it here. Oh. Anyway, Brahmin Wellington uh, lets you... Okay. I thought this is where the Gunderson kid was supposed to be. Oh, maybe over there. Yeah, it's uh it's a pretty good healing item. Well shit. One of these has gotta be the freezer, right? Oh maybe here? Nope, probably not. Oh, here we go. There we go. What else we got in here? One empty bottles. Looks like Cass has been here before. Oh sick burn. I should seal that. Anyway. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? Yeah. You don't seem too worried about lives. being in here, buddy. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to oh, me. Oh, I didn't do it. Calm down. I'm coming to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Uh oh. Shit. Oh, we don't have enough speech. There are probably just some things that who people who are really sorry. They're sorry. Sorry's what they'll be when they're strung up and lynched by my daddy's posse. These white knuckles got hell to pay. I'll see to that when I get out of here. Um. My daddy's. Well, shit. So I can only get 25. I'm not close to a level. Man. Um. Well, shit. I guess I'll just tell him, but then I don't think we can get... Oh, no, I think we maybe still can. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? Oh. I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. I think I might have to kill him. Where do I... I can't throw Mortimer under the bus. I think I gotta kill this guy. The hell you will over here. Head up. Stop running, you prick. There's a cut him until he's dead. He's got a lot more hit points than I anticipated. Also, where the hell's gas? Oh. 
Boom, there she is. Well, they did take her gun. When I had Boone in here, I got into a fight. He started to shoot everybody. I guess I was wrong last episode. Takes all his blood. I think we can still leave Cass in here. I sure hope so, anyway. I'll hold up here. Do -do 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 -do. There. I think we can still do this, but I'm not sure. I guess this is the only one way to find out. I really gotta look ahead of this stuff. Hey, you gotta mess me up back there. It wasn't my fault. So I think we can still frame whoever and that'll... It means that our big plan of getting Heck Gunderson and the White Glove Society um, won't work. But I think we can still get the White Glove Society. They'll still be fine with us. Pretty sure. I'll go talk to Mortimer before we end this one because it's just, just a little ways here. And then that's where we'll end the episode, is after we talk to him, see what's up. Oh, you know what, I bet you, I'm guessing, we probably have to do the thing with Ted Gunderson first. Yeah, that's my guess. Is this to the hotel? No, it's the bathhouse. Well, we'll just check real quick, because Mortimer's right over here somewhere. There he is. I've heard... Any word as to our arrangement? Take Anderson is dead. He wouldn't listen to reason. I see. Well, this could get out of hand very quickly unless something is done to keep the Elder Gunderson in check. You mustn't kill him, though. The publicity would be a disaster. I need you to handle this quietly, like we discussed. Okay, I can do that. A little blood in his suite should do the trick. And if you have a Securitron arrest him, our involvement will appear non-existent. Okay, I can do that. But first, Kaiser wishes to extend your society and offer of, a, of alliance with his legion. Looking to elevate his social status, is he? Yes. I'll admit, I could see benefits to living under his rule. Certain transgressions he'd be willing to overlook. But that's neither here nor there, I'm afraid. Marjorie won't have it, as long as she fails to see the wisdom of my perspective. Okay. Indeed. I think I need to kill Marjorie. Units are on the way to support our armies here. Shut up, lady. All right. Well, uh, that'll do it. Next time we'll go up into the suites, which I think is just over here, and we will. Nope. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just over the other way here. Uh, I'll I'll be up in the hotel. I just gotta take one of these elevators up, and uh, I'll see you guys then next time. Have a good one. Hey, thanks for sticking around till the end. We appreciate you watching every one of our videos. And if you want to get a hold of us outside of YouTube, all of our social media links are in the description below. If you want to become a knight, why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And as always, keep those shields up.